This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Hey guys, welcome to Money Mondays, where we give you some really great information specifically for women. And today we're going to focus on fixed index annuities and kind of wrap up that conversation. And I'm speaking with Caleb Doan, who is the vice president of Foster Financial. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've been on this journey with mm -hmm. fixed income annuities and, oh no, Fixed index. Fixed index. There you go. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's, Listen, it's close. The third week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> FIAs. Yeah. And so we've talked about it. And then what are we going to wrap up with it today? Yeah. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of features of, of fixed index annuities. Um, they they kind of specifically apply to women because they're, they're a little bit more of a conservative investment. Mm -hmm. Women tend to be a little bit more conservative than men in, in how they invest. Yeah. So there's probably a lot of women out there who have some of these fixed index annuities in their portfolios. Mm -hmm. So we've talked a little bit about crediting strategies, income riders that can be on these policies. Mm -hmm. Today, one of the, the kind of facets that I wanted to talk about was what they call surrender charges or surrender periods okay. for these annuities. Okay, what is um, that? So essentially, a, a surrender period on an annuity is a period of time after you purchase it or after you mm -hmm. put money into it where you're only allowed to withdraw a certain percentage any in any given year. Okay. So if you just have money in in an IRA um, that's with you know Charles Schwab or, or some Fidelity, whoever mm -hmm. it might be with, there, there's really not a liquidity restraint on that. You know, typically you can go and you can withdraw the entire account if you yeah. wanted to in, in any given year. With a fixed indexed annuity, they kind of put a cap on the amount that you're allowed to withdraw any given year. And if you take out more than that, they start penalizing you. So that's fascinating. So you can't really fully access your money. So why is that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a feature of these annuities because mm -hmm. they have certain benefits where they say, hey, you know, if the market goes down, you won't, you know, get negative interest or anything like right. that in these policies. Mm -hmm. So there's different benefits, but then it comes along with, with certain kind of cons to the, the policies too. And one of them is the surrender charges. Okay. And so usually how they're set up, and they, they can be set up many different ways, but a common one is they'll say, hey, you can only take out 10% of the contract in any given year. Mm -hmm. And if you take out more, then that's when you get hit with with surrender charges. Okay, so that is just the official max is ten percent before yeah. it crosses over. Okay. Yeah, on, on most policies, some can be you know fifteen. You know, some okay. some can can have none depending mm -hmm. on the type of policy. But um, that's just one thing to keep in mind. And so when we're looking at these for clients, one of the big things that we look at is liquidity risk, mm -hmm. which is just you know the risk that you need money and all of a sudden you, you can't access it. Mm -hmm. And so especially with fixed index annuities, it's really important that only a portion of your retirement is invested in them. Mm. You know, it, it would be extremely rare, I mean, almost never recommended that somebody would have, you know, more than 50, 60, 70% of their entire retirement account mm -hmm. in something like a fixed index annuity mm -hmm. with a surrender charge because then if you know the worst case happened, you needed to put your hands on a lot of money, right. you'd get hit with penalties. And that's a good point to make regarding why diversifying your portfolio mm -hmm. is so important to have things in different areas. So if you recommend, for example, that no more than 50, 70% of the amount being in a fixed income annuity, then what other types of accounts would people more likely put the rest of their funds? Yeah, yeah. The, the rest of the funds would probably need to be in something that's very liquid, okay. you know? So, I mean, just mm -hmm. a typical... IRA, brokerage type of account, mm -hmm. or cash at the bank and things like that, okay. stuff that you can get to right away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those surrender charges are a big, things that, uh, a big thing that we look at. Mm -hmm. And I think this, this just kind of goes to show that there's a lot of features of fixed indexed annuities mm -hmm. that people don't really fully understand, even when they right. get, get into them. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times we'll have clients come in and we'll say, hey, can we do kind of a, a due diligence check on this annuity that somebody sold you, you know, mm -hmm. five years ago or 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. And just let them know what it is. Let them know what, what the riders are, how it works, what the fees are, what the surrender charges mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people will say, man, I, I didn't know half of this stuff in the mm -hmm. annuity. So it's just a good place to start to say, hey, this is what you're actually invested in. Right, and really understanding what the benefits are. Mm -hmm. And so who would you recommend? What type of people should get this type of annuity? 
Yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of a specific type of person, mm -hmm. and generally, I would say these are maybe oversold in the industry a little mm -hmm. bit. There's probably people that have them that maybe shouldn't. Yeah. Um, so generally speaking, it would be someone who's a very conservative investor mm -hmm. because there's, it's it's to some extent principal protected on the on the downside. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if the market goes down, this isn't going to go down. But then it's also capped on the upside. So it would be good for a conservative investor. Also, probably somebody who needs income because okay. one of the, the key features of these annuities is many of them have income riders mm -hmm. on them. And the income rider is supposed to generate income for your entire life, mm -hmm. which brings me to the, th the third part that would make sense for a lot of people is if you have a lot of longevity in your family. If you're expecting, okay, yeah. you know, there, there's a high possibility I'm going to live to be, you know, 85, 90 years old a lot of times the fixed index annuities can be somewhat of a hedge against outliving your retirement savings. Mm. And so, you know, it can be good if you're conservative, have longevity and need income. Yeah, that is good. Those are great benefits. Yeah. You make yeah. a good point. So much to think about. Well, thank you so much for breaking down the fixed index annuities, mm -hmm. Caleb, and I can't wait to see what we learn the next time. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> And if you would like more information about Foster Financial, we'll have their website and phone number listed below. You can give them a call and really get some really great advice. And I'll see you after the break. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial.